Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I am back with another wig review, duh. Today's video is sponsored by Superb Wigs. Thank you to Superb Wigs for sponsoring this video, y'all. I done bought from them before, so I was excited when they reached out to me. Same thing with um, Eunice Hair and Love Me Hair. I never got a chance to shop with Love Me Hair, but I used to always be on their website. So yeah, I'm super excited to do this video with them. They sent me over this cute little blonde unit to try out for you guys. So yeah, switched up the scenery a little bit, you know. And the lipstick, I got on red lipstick, like what's going on? On. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna start with the unboxing. We're gonna jump right into the video. I'm gonna start with the unboxing as always. First, let me tell y'all this is their 613 Blonde Natural Straight Lace Front Wig. And this is a T-part lace front wig. So it's not a 13 by four. You can only part it in the middle right here. But the lace, it goes ear to ear, but there's no parting. Like you can't part it anywhere but right here. So yeah, anywho, let's start with the unboxing if I can find it. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. Y'all just saw it. They have one of those like sliding boxes, not the boxes that open from the front. So you just slide it out from the side and then inside the box the wig is on top inside of a hairnet and it's got like several little elastic bands in here i don't know i've never seen that before and i've never used these i think they're elastic bands that you put in the back like you can hook it in the back like bra straps you hook it in the back to make it tighter i guess or you can wear it glueless i don't know what those are but i never used them but yeah they sent those they sent this cute little scrunchie it's got a little butterfly on it how cute and then they also sent the new wig caps as always so yeah that's all that's inside the box that little note was for me that was inside the box that's just like stuff i need to mention in the video all that so that won't be in your box so don't mind that anyway so this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box it's very yellow and this is the construction like i said t-part wig so the lace is like all the way ear to ear but you can only part it in the middle um if that makes any sense but there are three combs in the wig in the front two in the front one in like the upper middle and one in the back and an adjustable strap and then they have those little areas where you can clip in those little um elastic bands so i know a lot of the times companies send elastic bands you have to sew those in so i think that's what that's for like you can just hook those in so you don't have to sew it you don't know how to sew you know real convenient but yeah oh i actually have a video up with a wig i did from super wigs it was an hd lace wig so y'all go watch that video that was forever ago but yeah that's the construction and then i toned this wig because like i said it's real yellow y'all can see that oh, let me show y'all this is how thick the wig is so i'm just holding it in like a ponytail type of position that's the density it's a 150 percent density and also i want y'all to see these knots because i did tone these knots or color the knots you know with black hair you bleach knots blonde hair you like color them to match like you know what i'm saying but yeah i remember that because i took a lace class with alonzo arnold in 2018 or 2019 i don't know and i remember i had all my notes i still have everything i bought everything that was mentioned in the class every product i bought everything as soon as i got home from the class so yeah and i remember i had the stuff we were taught how to hide knots on blonde hair and i remember i had stuff to do it so i was like let me try it and i went back to my notes i had my notes i still had the videos i recorded everything the explanation part and then like i took notes of everything as well like wrote it down on paper so yeah i tried it and it worked so so yeah, this is what the knots look like before I colored them. This is what it looks like after I colored the knots. Like them knots are not there no more. It's not white, you know, the knots be like all white, invisible, not there. So yeah, if y'all wanna see a video on how to hide knots on blonde hair, let me know. Cause that was my first time trying this and it worked. But I'm gonna show y'all me toning the hair first. So I just dipped it. I just used shimmer light shampoo. Everybody use shimmer light shampoo. It's just purple shampoo just to dip the wig in. And that's what I'm doing right here. And then I left it in for like 10, 15 minutes and washed it out. I washed it with a clarifying shampoo and i conditioned it with my aussie moist conditioner i also plucked the hair a little bit as you can see in the video that i showed uh after i did the knot i plucked it a little bit not too much because you can't really do much with you know it's not a whole lot of lace to work with it's just right here so um i just plucked a little bit but yeah that was the unboxing in the hair and everything this is what it looked like obviously after i toned it not so yellow i don't even know how like if you wear blonde hair shirt out the box you can't be trusted because i don't understand how do y'all wear hair like that i just feel like 613 hair needs to be tone you wear your 613 hair straight out the box you can't be trusted okay i can't trust you because that's not okay i just that don't sit right with me yeah i like this much better than that yellow ramen noodle type color so this is it after i toned it so yeah that's everything i did to the hair and that was the unboxing now we're gonna jump to the install portion y'all i always struggle well i only installed a 613 wig one other time on my channel i'll put that right here struggle with that one it just never it never gives scalp when i work with 613 wigs but i tried my best i think it looked pretty decent like i think it turned out pretty good you know so you know it looks good enough to me so yeah, we're gonna jump to the install portion. That's what y'all are gonna see next. So I installed and styled it. I curled this hair in this outfit. I took pictures in this outfit. So you wanna see like how it turned out curled. The curls don't fail because I've been out in the heat and I was taking pictures and all that. It's still a little bit of a curl there. So I wanna go ahead and get the video done while I still got a little bit of a curl left. But I wanted my pictures to be cute, you know? So I wasn't worried about my curls being a little looser for the video. Cause I mean, it still looks pretty decent, but yeah. So we're gonna jump right into the install and styling portion of the video. So if you wanna see how I installed her, then keep on watching.
All right, y'all, so that was the install and styling portion. Now we're gonna do the review portion. I've only had this hair in two days. I usually wait like a few days or like a week, but um, I gotta get this video done. But I will do like an update if you wanna see like a more overtime review, like a longer period of time. I really don't think much is gonna change, but I am gonna dye this hair. I just wanna wear it blonde first, but I'm gonna dye it. So I will update y'all if anything changed in that video, but most likely it won't. But yeah, let's just jump right to the review portion. So like I already mentioned, this is a t-part wig this is 20 inches and 150 density let's start with the install portion first as y'all saw the install i did struggle a little bit like i had to cut off a good bit of my bob cap to cover it i feel like this is borderline big head friendly like had it been any smaller i don't know if i could have worked with it too much but i wasn't like fighting with it but you know i did have to tug a little bit and some of my like black hair is still kind of sticking out right here like you can still kind of see that but my edges grow into my eyebrows so that's a whole different story Anyway, the whole install, um, I feel like the lace did, did pretty well, but it's just, for whatever reason, I just can't do right when I get 613 wigs. And it's like, it's the same process when I do black hair. I just can never get it. I needed to pull it up further and it was hard for me to. I needed to be further up into the glue and without the glue being in my hair. So I tried to pull it up further and I couldn't cut off as much of the lace as I wanted. I tried to cut off as much lace as possible, close to the hairline as possible. And this side over here, I, I didn't really do that because uh, it was already glued down. So um, it's still like a little bit of lace left or more lace than I would like but you know it still looks pretty decent so i'm not mad about that shedding y'all already know it's 613 here it sheds this junk sheds so bad i mean so bad like it sheds hello Hey. My bad, y'all. Yeah, this thing shit so bad. I don't know how much hair I done burst out this wig. It's gonna be bald if I keep at it because it's just like, it's so much hair everywhere. I mean, it just shit so bad. And I mean, blonde hair is so messy and that's the only thing about it. Working with blonde hair and I love me some blonde hair. I love 613. I love coloring 613 hair. I love working with color. It's just, it's shedding. It's just so bad. Like, and I hate that. That's like the number one con with this wig. It just shit so bad. The density, it's, it's, it's a natural density, um, but y'all know I like my wigs to be super full, especially if I'm a curly. And I want my curls to be like all big and voluminous and full like that. So I probably would have liked this better in a 180 maybe. This is a 150 density, but it's not thick enough for me. So that's another thing I didn't like was the density on it. But I mean, it looks, I mean, this is all the hair right here too. I mean, I showed y'all I held it, you know, in the unboxing, but this is all the hair right here to the front. So, you know, it's not thick enough for me. And what else? I actually kind of like the T part. I'm used to my 13 by fours. I love my 13 by fours. And I ain't nothing gonna top my 13 by fours, 13 by sixes. But I wasn't mad at the T part. Um, you just can only part in the middle, but I tend to wear middle parts anyway. So I wasn't mad about that. So if you cool with that, then you can get a T part. They also have it in 13 by four though, so you can get it. It's just um they sent me the T part. So other than that, I really like it. Um, it's a straight unit, so I didn't expect it to hold a curl that well. It did hold pretty well though. Um, but it's only because I think it fell only because I was. Out there in the heat taking pictures you know heat make your curls drop you know but before then like i was in here they stayed pretty tight like where i had them at they were like kind of up here but for a straight unit i feel like it holds a curl pretty well it just dropped because i was out there in the heat but i like this y'all what y'all think y'all like the new look y'all like the red lip you like the blonde you know switching up a little bit i like it though i really like it i like the look i just wish that it was thicker i'm not really mad about the shedding either because i knew that about 613 hair it just sheds like there's no tomorrow like that's it's nine to five is to shed so i wasn't mad about about it but i'm mad about it like you know i hate it but it's like it's so cute though it's just like you gotta put up with it so it is what it is other than that i really like the hair if you want it the link will be in the description box below as well as the link to the superb wig website by the way i don't watch a whole lot of videos on superb wigs before it's superb wigs and people be saying super b like y'all don't know superb is a word superb wigs i don't understand what y'all didn't see there uh, but anyway i like this y'all i like her i can't wait to dye it y'all stay tuned for that video because it's gonna be something different i've never done before it's gonna be a little ombre action it's gonna be like three four colors so stay tuned for that i might do a tutorial on it or just me yeah i'm doing a tutorial on it so yeah stay tuned for that video but she's cute though i'm really liking it so yeah let me know what y'all think of it the new look in the comments but that's all i got for y'all that's all i gotta say about her y'all that's it so yeah make sure you check out my website whoshebeauty.com where i sell my lashes my big blinks which are my 25 millimeter lashes and my baby blinks which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls i'm wearing a pair of my big blinks right now they are not out yet i'm gonna release those in september these are gonna be part of the fluffy series but this is one of the styles that y'all voted on I'm 
my Instagram. I had y'all vote on which styles you want me to drop. I had like 12 different lash styles. I told y'all to vote on them and I was gonna drop top four. So those are coming soon, but I'm wearing one of the pairs that will be coming out in September right now. I don't have a name for her yet, so I don't know, but I'll let y'all know um, when I name them. But yeah, I shot my lashes. I also sell lip gloss that I make myself. I sell my lip candies, which are my tinted glosses. I have Juicy Watermelon, which is a red tint, Georgia Peach, which is a peachy tint, and Coco Kiss, which is a brown tint. They come in these cute little candy tubes. I also sell clear gloss. I have Strawberry Key, which is like a regular clear gloss, and then I have Diced Pineapples, which is a clear glitter gloss. Sold out of that right now, but I'm finna restock it this week. I kept, I keep putting that off. I was supposed to do it off the weekend, but I'm waiting on my syringes. My syringes are supposed to be here tomorrow. So yeah, those will be back in stock soon. This is also out of stock. Coco Kiss is out of stock, so I'm gonna restock that as well this week. So be on the lookout for that. I also sell bags. I have the Crystal Money bags. I have Quilted Mini bags, Spring Mini bags, Rhinestone Face Mask. COVID is not gone. Get you a mask. At least be cute, okay? At least be cute with it. Get you a Rhinestone Face Mask. You know, we can be cute and safe, you know? I also sell press-ons I make myself. You can shop in the designs that I have on my website. Or you can DM my business page on Instagram, Hushi Beauty, and I accept custom orders over there. If you want to place a custom order, you just have to DM me over there to place one. I'm going to come out with some new designs to put on the website for the fall. This is one of them right here. This tortoise gel print. How cute. See, so yeah, I go shop my press-ons. I also sell jewelry, necklaces, anklets. I sell handmade velvet do rags that I make myself. I be sewing, if you didn't know that. Go follow me on TikTok. I post my sewing content over there when I be making little outfits and stuff. Um, my TikTok is Alyssa.Jalice. So yeah, I sell those. I also sell sweat sets. Those are on sale right now. They will not be on sale the day fall hits because they've been on sale all summer because it's out of season and they're fleece lined so they're real warm, good for the winter months. And I'm not restocking these in this color when they're sold out. So y'all need to get these while they're on sale and while I still have them because I'm gonna restock them in a different color when it starts getting cold. So go shop those. And I also sell lash tweezers. If you have trouble applying your lashes, then you need these lash tweezers right here. It makes it so much easier. The process goes by so much faster. My cute little logo right there, how cute. But yeah, I use those every time I put my lashes on. I've been putting on lashes for years and I still use lash tweezers. It just makes it go by so much faster. You have so much more stability. You can guide it exactly where you want it. Like, you know, it's just easier. If you struggle with getting your lashes on, try the lash tweezers. If that don't work, I don't know what to tell you. I ain't never had no issues with using lash tweezers. So, you know, do with that information what you would. But yeah, that's everything on my website. So go shop my website, whoshibeauty.com. Link in the description as well as my business page on Instagram. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you again to Super Wigs for sponsoring this video and sending me over this unit. Like I said, if you want it, it'll be in the description box, the direct link, as well as a link to their website if you want to check out any of their other products. But yeah, well, that's all I got for y'all today. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure both notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Oh, y'all, I completely forgot to mention we hit 5,000 subscribers on what August 14th. We hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank y'all for 5,000 subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. Thank y'all for all y'all cute little comments. Y'all be so nice. Y'all, I used to be scared like to respond to y'all's comments or like even read my comments. Y'all, I get so much anxiety going through comments. Like I will not read my comments for weeks because I be scared of like what somebody said. But I don't know why because I really don't be caring what people be saying, but I just don't want nobody to be mean to me. But yeah, y'all cool. Y'all all so sweet y'all's cute little comments i don't even know what i'd be scared for but yeah we hit 5,000 subscribers so of course i'm doing a giveaway i don't know okay i know what it's gonna be um and my cousin gave me this idea shout out to you michaela but the giveaway prize is gonna be like a little bag, like a little satin, little drawstring bag full of like wig supplies, like wig products and stuff, like a wax stick, some got to be spray, maybe some lace glue, edge brush, edge scarf, you know, stuff like that. Um, I haven't decided everything's gonna go in there yet, but that's what's gonna be. I will post the details on my community page or whatever. My I make like a community post order, whatever that thing is called. I'll post it on there of like everything that's gonna be in there. But yeah, so if you wanna enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, duh. Follow me on Instagram, Alyssa.Jalice, and comment on this video something you wanna see from me. Girl, why did my phone keep going off? Comment on this video something that you wanna see from me, like some whatever content you wanna see, something new, or content you wanna keep seeing, or preferably something new, cause um, all I do is hair videos. Yeah, so just comment something that you wanna see from me. I know I usually do like a question, cause I want people that actually support me to win people that I know watch my videos. So I ask a question that on um, people that watch my videos would know. But I be telling y'all to comment stuff or comment something y'all wanna see or 
or whatever and y'all don't be doing it so that's what you have to do to enter this giveaway comment something that you want to see from me content ideas so that's all you have to do to enter the giveaway and i will choose a winner i'll announce it when the giveaway winners will be announced but the giveaway will close in two weeks from today so two weeks from now on a friday so september 10th the giveaway will close so y'all got two weeks to enter those are the rules enter the giveaway and you can win a cute little bag because you know i'll be doing hair videos so you know i thought that was a cute idea that my cousin came up with to just give away some wig products because y'all come to me for wigs and y'all probably be buying wigs and you know i'm gonna give y'all some wig stuff some stuff for y'all wigs so you know yeah but again thank y'all for 5,000 subscribers on the road to six and then on the way to seven and then eight and then 10 and then to 100k it's just gonna keep going up so yeah thank y'all again for 5,000 subscribers thank y'all for supporting me y'all are the best i cannot thank y'all enough because i would not be doing none of these videos getting none of these sponsorships without y'all so shout out to y'all but yeah love you guys and bye